everyone and welcome after a few weeks of break I'm coming back to you with another crafty session I'm sorry I wasn't much around I wasn't able to fit in a crafty session with working full-time looking after children also my partner is working full-time and we also run a extra hustle, extra uh, business on site, bringing extra income in the pot and also building the residual income. So we've just been focused on that lately. But despite the fact where we are and what we're doing, um, then I'm coming to you with a, with a quick crafty session. I managed to fit in this crafty session between everything what's happening behind the scenes and uh, also with asthma for younger one and all disappointment and everything I don't want to talk about much about it because I don't want this to sound really negative and upsetting at some point but yeah remaining focused remaining positive I'm here for you and I hope you will enjoy this crafty session I'm coming to you with a coffee today uh, like I said it's between all the busy 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 lifestyle I'm here for you with with this crafty session so sip of coffee for you all cheers everyone and let's dive in let's dive in with this crafty session let's create an art journal I love making art journal because they are really relaxing you don't have to really uh, stress about you just really freely working way through and then you will just cooperate things uh, as you're working through so you don't have to really like overthink and you just work in as each step as it comes um, I will be using the visible image stamps today this is a quite old stamp set I must say it's quite few years old I'm not sure if these stamps are still available if they're still able to be purchased but I'm sure many of you actually had those stamps purchased from uh, visible images um, and I'm sure you will have actually create a beautiful um, for example journals maybe use them for the card making different a different project but I thought it would be nice actually, nice actually to, to get something out of the shelf what is actually sitting there but it also look really really good and we can actually work and create a journal with this beautiful stamp so we've got a beautiful stamp like a texture stamp we've got a focal points which we've got flowers we've got also sentiment out of chaos came creativity so let's dive into it let's create something with those stamps i will be stamping those directly into my watercolor book this is a watercolor book from artisa if you don't have a watercolor book um, then you can always use um, any other box and then primer it with gesso it will also work fine when you will be working with the mediums now i will be stamping my uh, images with a versafine uh, clear um, permanent ink this is a really really good um, ink because every single time you're stamping your images you'll get a really nice crisp impression and this is what it's all about uh, those crispy images when you're working with that with a stamp uh, when you're wanting to have everything really nicely visible then this is this is the um, um, the, the ink for you to go so I'm going to grab this cool flower stamp. I haven't used this stamp yet. I only used the background stamp, those two, in one of my art journals uh, previously. But let's let's be creative today with those flowers. Well, let's, let's make them as a focal point uh, on our uh, journal. So I have this cool... Um, um, acrylic block from All In Creative and what I like about it because it's flexible so you can bend it and you can put more pressure on a specific point so that's something where you can also have um, um, invest in if you already have it then by I mean grab it and use it so before I will actually work on the focal point I'd like to create a bit of a texture I'd like to create a little bit of a background for my focal points and therefore I will just grab grab this uh, cool texture stamp this is really really cool stamp let me just reverse it the proper way for you. So we've got some numbers at the bot uh, at the at the joints area. We've got some lines. We've got some uh, like a half circle. This is really really cool um, detail uh, little little stamp. So let's grab it and let's um, get some ink on it 
Uh, I'm not going to transfer it all the image. I'm going to just grab it and just uh, stamp it in a few areas like so. And I'm not really stressed about if it's not really transferred fully because the more grunginess I will create, the more interest it actually will, will be on my pages. There we go. So I'm just going to keep a balance and keep adding on, keep adding on in a few places like so. I can actually create something like this, like off page as well. Why not? Let's do this. Let's do this. And this time I'm not using any uh, washi tape on the center of my um, book because intentionally I would not want to work on the middle of my book. So I will not apply any medias what actually could seep in through and, and go through the center and damage other pages. That's something what I am not aiming for. So I think I'm done with that uh, background stamp. Uh, let me just grab another background stamp. And this is really, really cool one. This is this is like a, a circles with a, with a big circle and a little small circle. So let's grab it. Let's play with this one as well. Okay, I absolutely love that. Love that, love that. And take a look. This is really, really crisp image what we get in working with this ink. So if you don't have this ink, I would recommend you to actually invest in this ink because it's really, really cool. Okay, so I think that will be just absolutely enough of this, what is actually happening here. Okay, that's it. So let's, let's leave this one on side and now I will be working and focusing on this flower stamp so I'm gonna just dab it in my ink pad just make sure I've got plenty of uh, ink and I put it everywhere on my stamp there we go so now I can go I'm gonna move that aside and I can stamp my cute flower image and what I want to do I want to just go on here between all this cool texture on the background what I've created so I'm gonna just keep pressing keep pressing there we go love it love 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 it so I'm gonna grab more of the ink on my stamp and I will stamp it on site, like here, on this part. There we go. Like so. Okay. That's look really, really cool. I like that. Okay, now the second thing what I want to is stamp it, whoops, stamp it on the other side just to keep a balance between the pages. So I will just stamp it, this big flower on here, like so. Just let the ink sit for a moment. There we go. Cool, I like that. If it's something what's not actually stamped um, and not um, transferred really well, then you can always use the black ink pen Remember, it has to be permanent, and then you can just um, transfer it uh, wherever it's it's not been um, stamped well. So you can you can just draw it yourself. So I'm gonna grab this cool little tiny one as well. This cool little tiny flower, and I'm gonna stamp it on side here. There we go. Little cutiness, little cutiness, and I think I will just stamp it here as well. There we go. Yes, this is looking really cool. Okay, one here, and maybe one on side here. 
There we go. And how about if we stamp one upside down, like hanging upside down?
like that okay I am happy with that let's just add a little bit more on this side there we go let's work with water there we go beautiful 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 there we go okay so I'm happy with that I'm happy with that what I'm going to do now I'm gonna give a bit of a dry to my page this is what we have so far so this is what we have so far I don't want to overdo it with water so I'm gonna therefore use my heat gun and just quickly dry it my pages there we go there we go there we go there we go just quickly just blow it a little bit just a little bit just a little bit okay so then the paint will actually nicely set there we go okay that is fine that is fine okay great okay next next thing what i want to do i want to work on the bottom of my pages therefore i'm spraying the water at the bottom cleaning my brush and i'm gonna grab a green i'm gonna grab green but i'm gonna go for this dark green but i want to really really dilute it with water there we go okay these two colors really really beautifully blend in together take a look we've got something really really beautiful happening here and that's what i love 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 to see here we go this is just so beautiful okay cool 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 i like that i do like that i hope you're enjoying it i hope you like that too what is happening here because i really truly do like that okay this is really really cool i love that and the blue and green joining together nicely here this is really really nice let's just add this one here a little bit there we go love that love 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 that okay this is cool 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 love that so let's do this exactly same thing on the other side let's paint the other side as well let's add a bit of a more water here because this is gonna be just so too dark there we go this is super 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 nice okay so let's add a little bit of a more okay there we go so nice super 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 nice okay add a bit of more water there we go so i'm working between the flowers i want i want them to be white because i want to paint them as well there we go okay this is lovely let's just add a bit of a more water to them okay and i think i will go a little bit of here just to join the green and blue together okay cool i like that okay i like that i like that okay this is nice this is nice i like that okay i'm gonna add a bit of a like a shadow okay this is lovely this is lovely sorry you didn't see what's happening because i had my pages at the bottom apology about this let me just move that somehow so you can see better there we go now i can fit in in the in the camera i'm so sorry i didn't notice that before but hey we didn't really miss much because we just added a green color to our page like so okay and i said i didn't want it to color this uh, flower but i did color i did that color specially do you know why because i want to stamp maybe those little cutie um again 
those little cutie flowers again and then I will maybe color them as well as I've done with the larger one yeah let's let's try let's see what's gonna come out let's see let's see what happens okay a little bit more blue here maybe okay let's just help it with the water there we go I like that I do like that okay right this is it so let's just dry those pages a little bit let's just dry the pages a little bit and I can start coloring my flowers and I think I will actually use this little stamp and I will stamp those little flowers and I will fussy cut them as well yes why not yes why not so let me just dry my pages and then I will start moving on to paint the flowers so that's what we have our pages are almost dry I purposely left them just a little bit not fully dried because I want to leave them on site and they will dry uh, themselves and then I can actually start working on the pa painting the flowers so let's just move this aside because we're not gonna need our book now let's just bring this watercolor paper and let's just stamp these cute little flowers so let's just count how many will I need one two three four five six seven eight little flowers okay let's stamp eight little flowers let me just grab my um, ink there it is. So we're gonna stamp eight. Whoopsie daisy. Oh. Catch my catch my ink on my hand. Here we go. So I'm gonna get eight of those little flowers stamped. Okay. Oh, okay. This one was false start. Okay, didn't press it in the right place because my brush was on that way. Okay, let's do this again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. seven and eight okay that is all good that is all good now I can put my ink away and I can paint those cute flowers now so let's start with the larger one let's start with the larger one and I think I will go for uh, I don't know purple purple or pink hmm, I'm not sure Let's go for purple let's let's go for purple why not let's go for purple purple is not the color what I usually would have used but let's let's do it let's do it I believe this is what's gonna be my purple let's just try it oh no this is a blue okay they not lined up in the proper proper color what color is this one then okay okay change of plan let's try this one okay yes that's definitely purple okay great i found a purple <laughs> as you can tell um, my watercolors are a little bit messy like i said my family was using them so what i will do because i don't want to use the the whole page so i'm gonna just trim it into half let me just grab my trimmer quickly so let's trim the the cut into half because I don't need to work on these there we go so we have half of the card stock what we can use for something else there we go okay so let's just work on those so I'm gonna spray a water on my paper and I will be working just gradually adding a bit of a color to my flowers there we go 
So I'm gonna just wait for the color to seep in and then I will move it. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. This is happening. This is happening. Lovely. Grab a little bit more. Okay. Here it is. Beautiful. Okay, like I said, I'm not a watercolor professionalist, uh, but I thought let's just step out of the comfort zone, let's create something different, let's be courageous, and let's do something different. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of a there we go. So I'm gonna spread the color on the other areas of the flower. But I want to remain very dark at the bottom where the center of the where the center of the flower is. So let's do this. A bit blob. There we go. And then just add the water. There you go. To join it. Okay. Great. Right. This is cool. This is this is nice, I like that. Okay, so we, that's what we have so far. Okay, this has just gone away. Okay, let's add it more here. Okay. Okay, this is nice. So I can just keep adding pigment to the bottom because my flowers got so much water on them and the pigment of the watercolor it nicely nicely will spread there we go just add 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 the bottom at the bottom at the bottom you can add a little bit of a really really dark one there we go beautiful okay Beautiful. Okay, I love that. I love that. Like I said, I'm not a watercolor professionalist, but I think this is really cool. This is really cool. Okay, so we can move on to the larger one. I'm gonna spray water and I'm gonna grab my watercolor. I'm gonna paint this one. Just start from the bottom. I'm gonna paint this one. There we go. I want to keep some of my larger uh, petals a slightly lighter than the center of the flower. Okay. So I will be working in steps. There we go. There we go. So we have some areas a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, and we can just keep adding more colors to them. There we go, a bit of water, and we can grab the ink pigment, and we can just let it let it spread itself. Oh, this is so lovely love that there we go so beautiful okay this is so nice so nice let's just add a little bit more here yes I made it really watery <laughs> but that will dry that will dry don't worry about it that will dry. All this water will dry. So don't worry. Do not worry. So let's paint this second one. Let's paint the second flower. And let's again start from the bottom. There we go. The water, the water will do the whole magic. We can tilt our paper even like so. There we go. This is super cool. I like that. Look at this. It's literally, literally help to paint the whole flower. There we go. Didn't have to do much here, did I? I love that. I love that. There we go. 
you can add it here. There we go. Okay, I like that. I do like that. I do like that. Okay, yes, I do like that. It's really lighter than the other one. There we go. If I will do the same, there we go. Okay, cool. This is cool, cool, cool. I like that. And then we can do the last one. So let's just spray a little bit of water and just work it on it. There we go. Get a bit of a pigment on the brush and just help it with the water. There we go. I love that. This is cool. Okay. Okay, this is really, really cool what's happening here. Okay, love that. I want to leave this uh, some areas a little brighter. Okay. Okay, let's just add a bit of a... There we go. This is cool. I like that. Okay. What will happen if I will bring a bit of a paper and we'll just help out. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I like that. Let me just get a bit of the tissue and I will just um, dab off a little bit of excess of the, of the watercolour paint and then I will actually will bring it light colour up. Let me just do that. So I have a bit of a tissue and then I can just dab off a little bit of a paint, what I have. There we go. This is nice. This is really, really nice. I like that. We can add a little bit more of purple at the bottom here, just to make it a little bit of a movement from there we go that's what i'm talking about this is cool okay help it out with the water so it will run nicely there we go beautiful beautiful um i need to work a little bit on this first one because it's just a little bit too dark but if I will add a bit of a more water and the pigment at the bottom and then leave it there, the top area untouched, just will work on those two large petals. I will add a bit of the ink to it. Okay, okay. This is nice. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. I think I. I'm happy with what I see. So what I think I will be doing now, I will be starting and drying them. Yes, this is beautiful, but I don't want this to join there. I want this to stay there. Okay, this is lovely. This is lovely. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Yes, this is lovely. Okay. Okay, I think I'm happy with what I see. Let's add a little bit of a more to this. A few areas, like so. Okay. Okay. Let it flow. Okay, I like that. I think I am done here. What I need to do now is just dry my flowers. I need to dry my flowers and then I will be able to fussy cut them and add to my pages. I think I love that. Let me just bring that closer to you. So what I need to do now uh, I will get this dry and I will fussy cut them 
off the camera because it will be a long process so I don't want to keep you here uh, watching as I'm fussy cutting and then we can just um, start uh, attaching them on the page and add the finishing touches so let's do this Back to you and take a look what I have. While I was fatty cutting, I thought it is not really necessary to cut every single little flower because it will be just maybe a little bit too much, a little bit maybe overwhelming. So to be fair, I've decided I'm not gonna cut that um, all of them. And I thought it will be just perfectly fine if I will just stick those here. Um, and what I am also aiming for, I am aiming to create a little bit of a shadow. So I'm not going to actually align those flowers where they actually with stamp. I'm going to just slightly go off the edges and I'm just going to go and stick them down. So I'm going to start and um, gluing them with a bit of a tacky glue. And then I'm going to just work from here so there we go I'm gonna spread a little bit of a glue to my branch to my flower base shall I say there we go so something like this something like this okay I think that will look really really cool there we go so we can get this one here I'm gonna add glue to this one there we go there we go there we go there we go I'm gonna put this one how did I want it I think I want it like this there we go I think I want it like this and I'll go and get this large one here we go. Spread a little bit of a glue on the branch. Let's move you a little bit on side. I think I needed you to be here. Okay. Right. Okay. Good, good, good. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. I have this little cutiness. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna add you here. Okay, I love that. I really love that. This is kind of like unexpected, really. And I thought, well, let's just create a bit of a shadow to these flowers. There we go. So I'm gonna just. Get this one here, there we go, like so, okay, cool, I like that, one more, one more, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, maybe a little bit shorter, this way. There we go. Let's do this. Okay, cool. I like that. And I have last three to stick down. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, cool. I want it to go there. Cool. You stay where you are. Okay, great. This one goes there. Cool. Okay. This is really funky one, I shall say. Page. A little bit different what I would usually would do. But hey, let's just step out of the comfort zone. Let's be different. Let's grab something what we haven't used for absolutely long time like this stamp I had it on my stash for uh, quite some time I must be honest with you uh, for good couple of years at least couple of years and I never had the chance to use it so I thought 
let's grab it. Let's grab something what I haven't had a chance to play with and let's create a page with them. Okay, so just again, if you wonder, this is a visible image and creative chaos. That's the stamp set what I was using today to create these pages. And the last thing what I'd like to do is stamp my sentiment. Out of chaos comes creativity. So let's grab my sentiment. Let's grab my block. Let's grab my ink. Let's stamp it. Let's fussy cut it. And we can just finish it at that by adding maybe a bit of a splatters, but I'd like to do actually white splatters. Let's do white splatters for a change. So I'm gonna do white splatters today. Okay, so let's just stamp you here. There we go. Let's just wait and let the ink to get set. There we go. Beautiful. Out of chaos comes creativity. So I'm going to just roughly cut it out. Um, just create a little bit of a like a irregular, there we go, wavy effect on my sentiment, what I will be sticking on my pages, like so, there we go. So I hope you had a good creative session today. Um, like I said, I am sorry that I wasn't able to actually be as more often as I would love to be. Oh, someone's drilling next door. Apology about the noise. But hey, sometimes the things, things take priorities. Okay, so I have this. I will just stick this, stick this down. I think I will go on this side. It will be overloaded on this side. I think it will go perfectly on this one. So let's just stick it down. Let's just stick this down. There we go. Okay, so I will get this one here. Okay, looks good. Looks good to me. And white splatters. Yes, most definitely white splatters. So let me just grab a white acrylic paint. So I have white acrylic paint from Stamperia. This time I have Stamperia. I just grabbed it. It was next to me. Oh, this drilling is going to really, really annoy me now. But we are almost finished, so bear with this drilling noise, but we are almost finished now. Apology about this, but we're almost finished. So mixing that with water and we are splatting. Splatting, splatting away. There we go. A few larger ones. Great. Beautiful. Yes, love that. There we go. There we go. That way we are lighting it up. All the images, all the background to make it more settled so everything it goes nicely together. Oh, I love that. Okay, okay, okay. That is it. That is it. No more, no more, no more. Okay, this is it. Let me just bring this pages closer to you so you will see the final effect. Out of chaos comes creativity. There we go. That's our pages for today. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I will be able to come around soon again with another inspirational tutorial for you all. Love and kisses to you all. Until the next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.